Well, I've now caught a bus into the centre of Parma and got off in the Plata España. I've just been looking at the work on the Paseo Maritimo and, uh, well, while I'm at it, I may as well have a look to see what's going on in Plata España. And uh, behind me we've got, uh, well, Bar Cristal, a very iconic bar here in Plata España and uh, some more bars down there. And we start to look down and uh, this is what we've been waiting for. It's the resurfacing of the Plata España and it's looking really good until I turn around and the fences are still here so we're going to have a little bit of an investigate just by walking around the fence to see what's happening and uh, well across the road is where you've got the intermodals where the main bus station train station metro station is And this is uh, <laughs> continuing the work. I'm going to put the camera up a bit so you can see what I can't see. I'll have to have a look at that when I get home. So across the road there is uh, the bus station. It's all underground. Uh, you've got the buses and the trains, the tr uh, tram. And there's a car park underneath here as well. The work goes on. This is what it used to be like. This is like, uh, it's like slate to me. And a lot of the slates were either broken or missing, or they've been repaired by putting in bits of concrete, or they've been put in by bricks, uh, so slabs. And uh, the idea is to take all of that up and uh, replace it. They come across various problems, though. Um, certain archaeological remains which caused it all to be slowed down and uh, so it's it's perhaps taking them a little bit longer than they thought it was going to take but most of Plata España so far looks to be closed off to me and they haven't even started this part yet this is all to be done You see more green fencing around there, the cabins where the people are working. Uh, these are tourists uh, on a trip around Palma on a guided walk and uh, they're being told all about what's going on here. And hopefully told how it's all going to be improved when they, they return next time. So when's this going to be finished? Well, it isn't going to be finished this summer, I'm afraid. Uh, if you're planning to come to Plata España, be prepared to see the work. So two big areas where work's going on in the city along the front, which is the Paseo Maritimo and the Plata España. But uh, take it all into consideration because it's a small part of Parma and there's still lots of lovely places to go and see, to go and visit, have a look around. Today's Monday, Thursday and uh, got a bit of a mix here. So some places are closed and some places are open. Uh, we asked some of our neighbours and they said, oh yes, the shops are open. As we've driven through on the bus, I've noticed that quite a few places are closed. Uh, but there are obviously places open and the bars and cafes and many of them are open and many of them will probably open a little bit later on as it gets closer to lunchtime but also many of the shops uh, and certainly offices are taking the, the, the holiday because here in Mallorca it's a very long weekend so we've got the Thursday and the Friday of hol as holidays and then you've got Easter Sunday and Monday so it's an ideal opportunity for families to have a little break a holiday so I'm walking now towards San Miguel it's the name of the street it's a pedestrianized area and it's one of the main sort of shopping streets in the old part of town Directly in front is Calle Olmos and uh, 
and a little shopping street that leads down to the Ramblos. Just have a look to see if there are any exhibitions that I should be coming to have a look at. Just down here. If you like your churches, this is an interesting one to go in. And uh, might be able to access it down here. You can see there, because it's Easter, we have the processions. And uh, this is what they carry around the streets. And people gather underneath there, maybe 30, 40 people will get underneath and lift it and carry it a short step at a time. It's uh, quite an amazing sight to see. And uh, the church itself is open as well. It is an interesting church. Why is it interesting? Well, interesting to me, because it's got some really ancient artifacts in there. Should we go and have a quick look? Okay. Everything here is in preparation for Easter. hoping to look at I think is actually behind there I will be coming back uh, to this church uh, on a different occasion because I want to do the photographs a little bit better than I did before of the Knights Templar uh, memorial that's in there. Yeah. And just around the corner is um, what, the way I usually go in. I've never been through that door before. Um, it's a side door. I usually go in through this entrance, um, which is the military cultural center. And uh, it doesn't look like it's open today, the chains across it. But uh, do have a look here if you're interested in that sort of thing. They're usually military focused. And uh, at the moment it's got uh, lots of documents, which uh, is from Probably finished now. The expo exposition was uh, the 11th to the 22nd of March, so it looks like I've missed that one. So, uh, well, but as one goes, another one will appear, so we'll look and uh, we'll see what's coming from that one. I'm uh, going to head down to San Miguel. Short walk today because I've had quite a long walk. Um, going along the Paseo Maritimo already, which is showing uh, some progress. Uh, it's not finished, but progress is definitely being made. So, normally I think I would probably walk down Cayomas, which is this one, Carrera de Lombs and then down the Ramblas uh, towards Paca Mayor and then down to the Borne perhaps 
but today I'm just going to have a little walk along San Miguel. So, got a lot of people on the island at the moment because it's Easter. So, uh, from all over the Europe in particular, uh, people will be coming over for the Easter holidays. Just to point out here on the side, you can see these piles of chairs. Lots of chairs on both sides, all piled up. This is for the processions. So, as they start to come out of the church there, they get, they're getting it all ready. They're going to be walking along here with the brotherhoods and it's done very very slowly much slower than i'm actually walking now and some of these walks can take hours several hours to complete as they go from one church to another and uh, they're quite spectacular the costumes are amazing the the relics from the church are absolutely beautiful and so long as the weather's fine, it's good. Uh, what they don't want is rain. I've just been reading that uh, in Malaga, uh, you've had to cancel uh, at least one of the processions simply because it was raining. Uh, these relics that they're going to parade through the city are priceless. And uh, they can't really risk having the uh, relics damaged by the weather. So, lots of chairs out, and the streets during this will be absolutely ram-packed. I mean, just amazingly ram-packed. And they usually start quite late at night, so it might not start till 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock, or even later. And then might not finish till the early hours of the morning on some of the processions. Uh, and they have to be really strong people. So they tend to be young folk that do this, not us oldies. And uh, it's quite a challenge for them. It started um, last week and uh, most days have had at least one procession and sometimes two or three processions in the same evening. Once they start they are quite amazing sights to see. Another fascinating church worth going into if you've not been in. Street artists are out. Eighteen minutes past eleven. It says on there, and it says it's twenty degrees. Yeah, that feels about right. There's a little breeze. But it does feel to be about 20 degrees. And there's another pharmacy a little bit further down the road, which is confirming 20 degrees. 20 degrees Celsius, and uh, well, it isn't yet midday, so it could get a degree or more, two more. It's the Church of San Miguel, so this road street I'm walking down is called San Miguel. And uh, this is the Church of San Miguel. And all of these churches have their own relics, which they like to parade through the city. 
Uh, I'm quite busy. Heading towards Plaza Mayor Road. If you go beyond Plaza Mayor, it takes you down towards the cathedral. This was Plaza Court. Um, Plaza Court is the town hall. And then on towards the cathedral. Where they have uh, concerts as well. And uh, recently had one which was attended by uh, a queen, a former queen. Sophia. He's a great supporter of the island and a frequent visitor from the road here, where that's come from. This is the Fun March Museum. I haven't not been into yet, so it's uh, one I need to take a look at and visit. Stand to one side while the police go away. Um, Anisha and I watched Coma last night. I don't know if any of you have seen it, it's on Channel 5. Uh, four episodes, and uh, we watched it all. I really thought it was very well done and uh, really, really good series. Um, I do find series like that disturbing and uh, one of the things that it brought out was not enough police on the streets in uh, in Britain I don't know how true that is but my comparison here we do see the police a lot there is a great police visibility and uh, well makes you feel good it makes you feel secure you know, it's, Hopefully, one somewhere nearby when you need it. We have different levels of police here. This is Polythea Local, the local police, and then we have the national police, and then we have the some really serious ones. This is the Guardia Civil. Look at that. There's two police cars in Plaza Mayor. This is Plaza Mayor. No markets here today. Uh, just restaurants hoping to attract lots of business for lunch and uh, our lunch is coming up in the next hour or so. So there's a police car parked in the Plaza of Mayor, there's one just leaving and in the opposite direction there's uh, one entering and I've just seen two policemen on foot as well. So that's what I mean about police visibility. When you're ever in a city, there's always a, a possibility of, uh, of being robbed or having an accident and, and just that security to know that uh, there is somebody official close by. Another reason I always say New York, Palma is a, a relatively safe place. People ask me. Doesn't mean you don't have to be careful. Of course you do. This uh, road we're coming down, another pedestrianised road. This is Sindicato. Coffee shop here. One of the reasons Anita's come into Palmer today is actually to go to a coffee shop, but I don't know where it is. <laughs> I don't know where Anita is either now. Yes. <laughs> 
Well, I forgot my hat today. And uh, at some point, I think I would have quite liked to have worn it. Um, it's fine here now, we're in the shade. Walking on the Paso Maritimo, where um, the new uh, walkway, which is nearly completed, it was uh, directly in the sun. Fortunately, there was a, a thin layer of cloud most of the time. I have planted some cheap trees. Uh, but those trees are going to take several years uh, to to grow to the full size that's needed. And um, they're not palm trees. I might have expected Palmer to have uh, a front lined with palm trees. Just me. In Palmer Nova they have actually uh, replaced some of the trees with palm trees. Bags galore. Actually beautiful lighting in there too. I like that. I see some places haven't opened up today and yeah, it was a public holiday. the other hat shop. This one's been here for a very long time. But that Panama hat there is 228 euros. Oh, not quite a kiss me quick hat is it? 228 euros for a Panama hat. Mm. Sounds a bit much to me, that does. Still lots of graffiti about, I'm afraid, and uh, the Lord Mayor of Palmer House said they have declared war on it, and uh, I didn't walk down the Ramblers, but down the Ramblers there is a, a convent wall which was covered in graffiti, and that now has been cleaned off. So, steps in the right direction, but still a lot to do. I did read in the paper about uh, a man in America, I think in San Francisco or Los Angeles, who was being potentially fined uh, for not cleaning the graffiti off his wall. Uh, I think that could give uh, councillors here an idea, make it the job of the owner to do something tricky one isn't it they didn't cause it are you going to find somebody for having graffiti on their own wall and they didn't cause it and uh, the police hadn't actually caught the culprits it might make people report things much more quickly The man in America, by the way, was 102 or 103 years old. Wow! Picture of him outside with a paintbrush in his hand. 
sitting in a wheelchair. We're just coming up to the end of Sindicato and uh, this is another area where the buses uh, collect. So we've got the intermodal station around Plaza España and uh, this particular area here at the end of Sindicato. Well I've completed my little walk and I've managed to find Anita. Um, she's just had a coffee and uh, we're about to get on the bus to go home. So thanks very much for watching and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye. Bye.